Hello all and welcome back. Earlier on in my channel I have made a really good skinning guide um, but the problem was I had a back mic, I did not have this headset, uh, I was recording with a lower quality and I really do think that it's a good farm so I decided to take another video and show where the farm is. First of all uh, it's a skinning farm, you need uh, cataclysm skinning which you can easily get from uh, a particular NPC in Old Town in Stormwind. She trains you on skinning. As for the farm, uh, the farm is located in Uldum. Now, Uldum is in, I believe, in Kalimdor, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And it takes a long while to get there. Unless you take this specific portal uh, which are located in the capital cities of both fractions of factions okay portal all right we're in Uldum now the farm is located in this location that I'm showing you right now with my mouse so let's get there now that we are arrived in the location I'll tell you about the requirements of this farm well uh, you can do this with any character as long as they have a viable AoE attack. For me it's trash. Um, it's not necessary but I'm using a druid with a semi-complete speed set. Uh, at one point I will make a tutorial but I have to get some BFA items and like legendaries and so on but like I'll, I'll make a proper speed set quite. Anyway, second thing you need is potion of treasure finding. It's really, really crucial. Anytime you're doing any sort of cataclysm farm, this is a must. Now, drink potion of treasure finding. If you're not a worgen and do not have fast skinning, uh, use a diet more fire water. Again, it lasts for an hour. And optionally, uh, I say optionally because in this farm you're not running long distances, but you can eat bear tartar which gives you a speed buff uh, whenever you kill a hostile mob. Okay, let's eat it. Now, now that we have our buffs, we can start the farm. All you do is, you see these eggs? You just scroll over them, kill the mobs and skin them. So let's keep doing this for a while. And you can jump uh, to get rid of the slow motion effect. Okay, so that's it. You see all these eggs around the area. By the time you jump on the third egg, uh, all the others would have respawned. See, this one has already respawned. So it's basically infinite skinning farm. What you're looking for is three things. Savage leather is the main selling, really fast selling ingredient of this farm. It makes you eight to 10K gold just on its own. Uh, you can convert it to heavy savage leather by using leather working, then the price increases, or you can get um, pristine hide for 10 savage leather, so four, uh, 50 of these sorry for 10 heavy savage leathers so for 50 of these savage leathers the second thing you're looking for is this thing which you get from uh, the potions and it's called the tiny treasure chest you open it up okay I was kind of unlucky I just got some gold and embassy cloth but what it can give you is it can give you volatile life volatile earth uh, all of these like cataclysm crafting regions that are really 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 high in demand uh, they can also give you again like similar crafting regions and the second thing which you get from uh, skinning as well is strange bloated stomach which is like a lesser version of the tiny treasure chest but I got uh, two volatile lives from that so that's uh, like another 20 something gold. 
Okay, so all you do is is just this. It's a really, really, really simple farm. Right, you keep doing this continuously. Put some playlist in the background. Uh, listen to some podcasts. Listen to some music. You know, and just keep doing this. Additionally, uh, what you can get from this farm is greens. Mostly they are useless greens, but once in a while you get a really nice rare or a couple of epics. Uh, Cataclysm epics don't sell for much, apart from one or two uh, like really rare stuff. But still, like even if you combine, uh, I mean, if you combine it with those, it's gonna make you a lot of gold. Like I say, another 5k per hour from that. So brings the farm up to 25, even 30k, depending on your luck per hour. It's a really consistent farm. It's always going to sell. It's really fast selling. I put the mats on. Uh, I just do my thing for an hour or two, and I come back, and well, it's all there. And you saw how quickly we got it, like uh, 57 of these things. It, it literally took like like three minutes with all the explanation I made, with all the talking I made, and like that much gold in three minutes. Okay, last thing I'm gonna show you is the Pristineite vendor. Again, it's in this location in Stormwind. You come here, well met. Come to this lady over here, and she sells pristine hide for. 10 heavy savage leather. One last thing, uh, let's check the auction house prices. Okay, so let's say savage leather. Okay, these ones have gone down a little bit in price. Uh, they were much higher like a week ago. It fluctuates a little. Um, sometimes I just buy them in bulk, like I buy 100,000 gold worth of these and then flip them. I have another tune which uh, I use to convert savage leather into a heavy savage leather. And you see like five of these, which is uh, around 12 gold, is worth 14.50 gold. So you can literally, as long as you have enough money, uh, you can buy up to like a price of 2.9 gold or something. I'm talking about this specific scenario. You can buy all of these, like thousands of them. Flip them. It takes about an hour and a, an hour and a half to convert like 10,000 of these into heavy savage leather. And then boom, like easy 10% profit without without doing anything, basically. You just put it on and go, go get some coffee or something. Also, you can combine uh, like 10 of these, as I showed before, into pristine hide, um, which is this thing, and it sells for 149k. So we said heavy savage leather was 14.50, let's multiply it by 10, so that's 145 gold. Uh, the, pre the other one is 149 gold. Okay, it's a really tiny uh, increase. Pristine hide is not like that super selling, although I have sold every single piece of it I have ever owned. Uh, but it's not as fast selling as Savage Leather or Heavy Savage Leather. But still, that's an additional profit. Sometimes the pristine hide prices, for some reason, they just jump. Like I've seen it, I, I myself have sold it for like 300 gold or more at different times. Well, that is all for today folks please uh, like share and subscribe and let me know in the comments what kind of farms guides or uh, I'm also a high key pusher high key for frost mage still high though uh, so just let me know what kind of content you would like to see all right folks that's it for today always remember stay happy